Before we start today's video, I would like to give a huge shout out to Fury Motors in Stillwater, Minnesota. These guys have a great selection of cars and very cool ones as well, just to come check out, let alone buy. The buying experience here has been very great. You can even view that from their reviews online. They have a great selection of used cars and new cars and just many cars that you can come check out, test drive, and buy for a great price and great value. Please come check these guys out at Fury Motors because they lend us many cars for our videos and we are great partners with them. Thank you, Fury Motors, very much. Now let's get to the, today's video. Dodge Challenger RT Scat Pack Shaker. We said that we would do a review from the 5.7 to the 392. Is it really worth the upgrade or is it not? This is our demonstration car today. It is fresh off the delivery truck from auction. It has 30,000 miles and let's get into the video. Yeah, guys, 2008 the Challenger came out in the latest edition. 2008 to 2010, we'll call it the first edition of the latest edition. 2011 to 2014 we'll call that edition two right 2015 to current day we have this body style this interior these features just like austin said we're going to hit the main point of this video is it worth it to upgrade a 392 from an rt okay the next thing we'll just talk about briefly, since this car does have 30,000 miles on it, is there any issues we are seeing with drivability or performance? Let's get started. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're not going to go over every small detail of the Challenger. There's a thousand videos that do that. You can also watch one of our other videos to see some of the key points that the Challenger comes with. We are gonna highlight the features of this 392 with the shaker package, okay? Guys, as a reminder, I owned a 2012 Challenger RT for 45,000 miles. We recently spent uh, a week and a little over a thousand miles in a 2019 RT. And now we have the 2016 392 Shaker Package. What's up, huh? Guys, this is cool. It's fun to watch this thing shake around when you're driving down the road. That is a fun option. It is a functional air intake. So what do we have under here different than the 5.7? First of all, we have less than 100 more torque, but more than 100 horsepower. And that's not a massive difference. So what do you really get with that price difference with that different motor? That is one corner of Brembo. There's two, there's three, there's four. All four corners have Brembos when you are talking about the SRT. So the body is pretty much the same on this car compared to the RT, but what is the main difference that you're going to find when looking at these at car shows? Uh, the 392s don't really have much tread on the back tires. Do I mean by the 392 not having as much tread on the back tires? This right here. Guys, once a Challenger, always a Challenger. The interiors have very subtle changes, right? It's not like you get a completely different dashboard or completely different layout. They're more or less the same seats. Now we do have some cross stitching because this is the Shaker model. This is the 392. It's, it's a slightly upgraded. So there are a few subtle cues that class it up a little bit. However, when it's a Challenger, it just it, it's the same car on the inside. That is not what's important, guys. And I like it this way. 
because this car is about the muscle, right? It's it's a muscle car. Guys, it, it, this isn't a, a cruiser. This is a loud, obnoxious muscle car. That's what a 392 is. It's the one thing I can notice talking about reliability for sure, and maybe just Dodge doesn't have this figured out, is the ventilated seats in this car. They aren't great. At 30,000 miles, I had to double check myself to make sure they were on. So if you think that is an option you have to have, make sure you're gonna be happy with how they're performing because I am not impressed. This is another reason the challenge is a ton of fun. There's this thing called the Mopar Mafia where just a bunch of dudes with Mopars rev up, hammer on it, and do whatever when they go by you. But this was just on our test drive, for example. Guys, so driving the car, I mean, it's, it is the same car. Whether it's a GT, an RT, a Hellcat, uh, whatever the case may be, it feels like a challenger. You get in the driver's seat and the, the ambiance is the same. It's the same car, but now when we're talking about that 392, woo! There is a difference, guys. Now, it's not as dramatic as I may sound, but there is definitely a difference. What I can tell you is uh, if you just want to be loud, if you want to sound loud and sound cool and look cool, there's no reason to get away from an RT. If you want fumes and fumes of smoke pouring out of your rear tires, then you need a 392. If you want that shaker vibrating around and moving and jumping and jiving as you're zipping down the road, then you need a 392 shaker. But if you're just, if you want a challenger that sounds good, uh, still feels fast, stick with your RT. This is obviously faster when you're doing a, a highway roll or when you're you're already under momentum and I'm stepping on the gas. Guys, I don't notice a massive difference from my 2012 or from the 2019 RT that we just recently reviewed. Please check that out. See what you think of our opinion on that one. And let's also remind you to check out what we think of the GT. There is an obvious difference with the modes when you get up into the Challenger lineup. So when you're talking about uh, putting your steering and your suspension and your acceleration into a sport mode versus a comfort mode that is something that you can tell while driving but don't be fooled this is not a track car you can have a lot of fun on a track with this car you can put a smile from ear to ear but calling this a track car or calling this a sports car is just like thinking a pregnant lady can pole vault it just is not true this is a muscle car and it does a great job at being that <laughs> come on shake 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 your hammy so guys with uh, 31 and a half thousand miles on this car when it comes to the reliability how the car is feeling it still feels like a new car obviously it needs some new back tires which those aren't going to take long to go to go through but the interior uh, the plastics holding up really well the seats are holding up well uh, there are a couple miscellaneous trim pieces that are missing, but that's more from the previous owner, I would assume. There's some wax on the plastic, so obviously if you're waxing your car, be mindful of that, that uh, you can't shine plastic with wax. I mean, you can, but it won't look great. Use peanut butter. Guys, so here's my opinion on should you upgrade from your RT to a 392. It kind of depends on your lifestyle, right? 
So if you just like to cruise around, uh, I, we just got the gas ding. So apparently that's one part of owning a 392 is you got to go to the gas station. But if you like just driving around, if you like the look, and the feel and the noise of a muscle car save your money stick with the rt you're gonna be happy it's loud it's cool uh, people still look at it and give it thumbs up if you're more an inspired driver if you like uh if you like to really go through your tires uh burning tires sitting on the track doing quarter mile runs uh getting out on a track day on occasion that is when i would recommend jumping up to the 392. the in your seat feel guys just is not there and you see that with the numbers with that 80 uh 80 torque difference that's what you feel in your seat is that is a very very minimal difference when you're zipping down the road already on a roll and then you hit it i fully agree with todd 100 percent get this if you are into track drag burnouts whatever this thing is a muscle car the rt is also a muscle car but it's just not as beastly as a muscle car so that wraps up today's video on should you upgrade to the 5.7 to the 3.92. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy some of this exhaust clips because that's what this thing is all about. Love you guys. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Check out the channel. Bye.